So the system is still lopsided. We still have southwesterly shear impacting this, keeping it disorganized. Well, an upper level low is going to move over the Yucatan and weekend, and that should allow the system to start to stack up and start to strengthen pretty quickly. The hurricane hunters have left Keesler Air Force Base there in Biloxi, and they are getting close there to the center. So as we get that information in and any updates from the National Hurricane Center, we will bring it to you. Here's the latest five o'clock advisory moving northwest at eight. Estimated winds right there at 35 miles per hour, and the forecast track remains relatively unchanged here from last night. We are still looking at the likelihood of a major hurricane off of our coastline, but this graphic, don't forget, is just a representation of where the center of this storm could be. Impacts are felt out hundreds of miles. This is a little different representation to show you how far those rain bands are going to extend out. This is our in-house computer model, which shows Helene getting close to the tip of the Yucatan and then quickly starting to pull off to the north. And as we feel those bands, they'll pick up an in intensity and frequency. And we are on that right side of circulation, what we call the dirty side of the storm. So we are expecting storm surge. And that number went from two to four yesterday to three to five possible all along the coastline as we continue with that storm surge watch. As far as the seven day, the impacts are going to be felt there Wednesday night into Thursday. They'll quickly start to improve Friday and over the upcoming weekend.